Hello everyone, my name is Hassam and in this uh, video I'm going to go over the takeoff distance, how to calculate your takeoff distance. And this example is uh, based on this packet that we have, it's uh, f uh, based on the uh, takeoff distance charts for a uh, one se Cessna 172 mm, and our, gross, uh, our maximum takeoff weight is 2,300 two pounds. Very good, so we go directly to that section, uh, number 3 right here. Very good. So takeoff distance. How are we going to calculate the takeoff distance? So first of all, we're going to look at this chart, and I'm going to explain the chart a little bit, and uh, we're going to go over finding all uh, our uh, numbers. So uh, there is an easy way to look at this uh, chart. This chart is basically based on your weight, your specific weight. Uh, right here is 2,300 pounds. And uh, as you can see, this chart is based on the pressure altitude. So we calculated the pressure altitude for today. And if you are not sure how to calculate the pressure altitude, I just suggest you to watch our video on pr uh, calculating the pressure altitude on its uh, own topic. So uh, we, we are not going to go over finding pressure altitude in this video. Uh, however, uh, today's uh, pressure altitude is 500 feet, so we are going to calculate the numbers between uh, whatever number is uh, down for 1,000 feet and also sea level. So it's going to be between right here and right here is going to be 500 feet. Uh, so uh, today's METAR is uh, shown above right here. So temperature is 19 degrees Celsius and as we mentioned pressure altitude is 500 feet. So as we can see here we have uh, f uh, five different columns for the uh, temperature. So we know that the temperature uh, affects our performance uh, as, uh, as uh, we get uh, higher and higher in temperature as the air gets warmer our uh, we need more distance uh, to become airborne and uh, rotate and become airborne. So uh, it's, if it's cold, we need just, uh, if it's cold weather, just zero degrees Celsius, we just need 720 feet of runway to take off at sea level versus 1,700 feet, almost three times bigger when it's 40 degrees Celsius. It's very hot day, we need more runway. So basically, uh, in real life, we're going to um, <coughs> calculate the maximum or the worst case scenario for our uh, temperature, I, if, if this is uh, today is 25 degrees and uh, I'm taking off from John Wayne and our pressure altitude is 500, I'm going to go look at right here at 1000 because it's the worst case scenario. I'm going to go over here. I know that, okay, for ground roll, I need 900 feet and for total to clear a uh, 50 foot obstacle, I just need 1630. 30 feet of runway. So, uh, but in, in pr for purpose of this video, I'm going to show you to interpolate between the numbers and find the exact value for, uh, for th this example right here. So, uh, I'm going to go over uh, one more thing before uh, we uh, continue. Uh, we just need to know that uh, our um, what is the difference between the ground roll and the total to clear? If you look at this diagram right here, I'm going to show you uh, right here. It's uh, ground roll is uh, this is this distance that we need to uh, power up and then be, uh, rotate and become airborne. But however, if you have an obstacle at the end of the runway, uh, not only we you have used this much of runway, uh, we have to uh, rotate and become airborne and uh, basically be our uh, at our uh, Vx uh, speed, uh, which is best uh, angle of uh, climb, and clear that obstacle as soon as possible, and then we can uh, go back to our Vy, which is best rate of speed of climb. So, uh, so we can safely continue our flight. So technically, we have used this much of runway. So that's why d always the total to clear 50 foot obstacle is much higher number than the ground roll. So back to here, our uh, example, today's temperature is 19 degrees Celsius, so it's not 10, it's not 20, but 19. So I divided this uh, degrees, the difference between uh, the 10 and 20, in 10 increments, so each increment is 1 degree, so this is 11, 12, 13, all, and uh, so forth. So we are looking about right here, so about this, uh, this much of uh, uh, 
uh, distance is 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 uh, gone from 10 degrees to 20 degrees. So we see that uh, for 10 degrees uh, at uh, 10 degrees Celsius, uh, for a ground roll we need 700 feet. Versus if the uh, weather gets hotter and 20 degrees, we have 835 degrees at sea level. So we have to find 500 feet first to find uh, the numbers between these two. We're going to use this method. So I'm going to take the bigger number, take the uh, difference between the bigger number and the smaller number and divide it by 2 and it uh, gives me the, uh, the average. So basically the average between these two numbers is 812 and between these two numbers it's 1458 and between these two numbers right there and between these two numbers it's right here so we can uh, we can find uh, right now we can find the 500 feet pressure altitude uh, this is the 500 feet pressure altitude uh, at 10 degrees and this is the 500 feet for uh, 20 degrees so now we have to interpolate between these two numbers 812 and 875 and find uh, the exact value for 19 degree because this is this is these are all the numbers for 10 degrees this is the ground roll and this is the total to clear 50 foot obstacle also this is uh, these two uh, columns are for 20 degrees so now we're going to find uh, for 19 degrees how we can find it it's a very easy way to do it so uh, if you can uh, look at a percentage uh, like a solution type of thing so it's uh, if you consider the whole change from 10 degree to 20 degree as a hundred percent change so this much change has been made so it's 90 percent or uh, you can say uh, we are 10 percent short of uh, the values for 20 degrees. So in other words, if we have this number right here, we have 812 and we have 875, we got it from interpolation between uh, these two numbers and these two numbers, they're all together. Like So you have to uh, look at ground roll uh, and total to fill, uh, clear 50 foot obstacle together, you can see here that uh, we, we take 875 and we take the difference, it's only 63 uh, difference between these two, so we we just need 10% that uh, of that difference off, so because of here we, ha we just need 10% off, so if we take 6.3 off of 10% of 63 is 6.3, so we take 6.3 off, we get 57 and we add that uh, to, to our little number which is 812 we find 869 for the ground roll and we do the same thing for here so we have uh, this number uh, we calculated that 1564 is here and that 1458 is here we take the difference is uh, 106 and 10 percent of that we take 10 percent off it gets 96 and we add it to the little number and the total to clear 50 foot obstacle is 1553 feet uh, very good. And now we have to pay attention to note 3 uh, which says decrease distances 10% for each 9 knots of headwind. So uh, we're going to rephrase that sentence uh, in another word to make it easier to understand. So if, I if uh, each uh, 9 knots of headwind we need to decrease 10% it means that each uh, one knots of head headwind, it's going to be 1.1 percent. So if we have 18 knots of headwind, we multiply that by 1.1, and we get 20 percent decrease. So we decrease our uh, ground roll by 20 percent. We get 717. We do the same thing for our total to clear 50 foot obstacle. We decrease that by 20 percent, and we get to 12 th 43 feet. So now uh, we need to do the final step. The final step says uh, that we have to calculate uh, the, the slope of the runway and uh, do the effects of uh, upper slope and downs down slope uh, runway. So let's look at our runway one more time here. We have uh, chosen runway 20 left for our takeoff purpose. So uh, we have here about 0.4 degree upper slope on that runway. We know as a rule of thumb that uh, each 1% is 10 each one degree uh, of his upper slope is 10% uh, increase. So one more time, each uh, one degree is 1%. Each one degree of a slope is 1%. So 0.4 
degree is 4%, right? So let's do that together. Uh, so we know that here we have 717. We add 4% to that to get 746. So now we know that, okay, for this upper slope, we need, to, oh, actually, we need to be airborne, we need four, uh, 746 feet, right? So what is the difference between 746 feet and 717? If we uh, use our calculator here, so 746 plus, actually, uh, 746 minus 717 is 29 feet. So we, we need to add this 29 feet to our total to get the final value for our uh, total to clear uh, 50 foot obstacle. Thank you so much for watching and please uh, don't forget to leave uh, our, your comments below so we can make better videos for you in the future. Uh, see you later.